Okay, so I made an intro and then I found out that my mic isn't working and I don't even know why. But, okay, let's go. Um, Don't have time to do a, a Coach Craig discussion right now. I'll give you guys a posing update. I did raw posing right now. The raw file is going to go up in a little bit. Uh, so you guys can see me practicing posing. Eggs, because I did not have a, my eggs yesterday. 11.30 a.m. I got to be in the gym by 12 so I can start training. I might have to do some less leg volume because I'm dying right now. Um... Yeah, I got my morning tea, morning chai right there. Um, don't tell Greg, but I had lamb last night, like lamb burger, homemade lamb burger last night. Uh, and um, the thing had fucking 50 grams of fat, which means like almost 500 calories, like 450 calories worth of fat. If Greg finds out, he's going to be fucking pissed. I don't want him to be pissed at me. I want him to be pissed at Seth Rossi. So, all right, let's check this one out. This is only 15 minutes. Hopefully, we can get this done. Let's go. I got a... We got to talk real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. I what I hate the most. <laughs> no, the drama, person. boys. I became the drama. I don't like it when people kind of make it look like I don't know what I'm saying. Because, you know, I already look like I don't know what I'm saying. Okay? <laughs> people say that I don't look like I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Coach Greg, okay. and today I'm going to be responding to Seth Ferrosi's podcast where he spoke about me and basically did an invite. And just answer. I'm going to watch the video Damn. and respond as I go. A lot of people have requested me to, to respond. If he goes to the podcast, I'm of course I'm going to listen to it. I fucking uh, I love both of these guys. I really do hope he goes though. He was invited on, on another podcast recently. I asked him though, but he was like he doesn't want to go there right now. So and stuff. So here it is. Okay. I honestly genuinely believe that he's getting a movie role or a TV show role or something, which is why he's not going on these podcasts and other things. Hey, okay. we'll a see lot of happens. days has passed. I'm not mad anymore. It's like whatever. It's in the past to me. But what is there to be mad about anyways? And just comment and we'll see. Everything Childish we do shit. is always about being positive, being the best person you can be, being a hardworking mother at all aspects. I bit on the negativity. So he encourages and he promotes hard working, being a hard worker and going after it. And I think that he could see that I am a hard worker and I'm an IFBB pro and anyone that achieves an IFBB pro status obviously can't be a bad bodybuilder, okay? You know, I might be a bad bodybuilder in terms of my size compared to him, which obviously is a lot bigger than me, but I don't think that he actually thinks I'm a bad bodybuilder. You know, you're just speaking and it just kind of rolls out of your mouth and things happen. Bodybuilding is the worst sport to kind of compare yourself with anybody else, which is so funny because that's, what, that's how bodybuilding is compared. You're born, you have it, you win, you don't have it, you don't win. End of story, end of discussion. You're born, you win. <laughs> You're born losing, you lose. There's nothing else. The only thing is, does somebody come in better conditioning or can you can come into better conditioning and somebody else will not? That's it. Your bicep peak is garbage. You're fucked for life. Your abs are garbage. You're fucked for life. There's nothing you can do. You're upset nothing. and you say things you regret. I've done this many times in my life. It's just a mistake. I don't think it's a big deal, to be honest. This I hate isn't it so some much. fucking Bob chess Jason or some shit. makes a video or, or posts uh, and they are posting about other people to gain their own notoriety or to gain more followers. It's like clickbaiting, but it's usually from a dramatic and negative standpoint. So I definitely do that for sure. I talk about people all the time. People want to know about people, and I have strong mm -hmm. opinions on a lot of things. Some good, some not so good. It is what it is. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a good thing. I think it's a thing thing. Does that make any sense? <laughs> so I was boasting about it, freaking out, and just I had a moment. I was emotional. I was on my period. How much I whiskey does this man have? So I think that he was upset because perhaps I did a video talking about him and his keto diet rather than just doing a video about the keto diet, which I could have done, but it would have way less interest than if I'm talking about somebody doing the keto diet because they're curious, why is this man doing this diet? Is it good or bad? Okay. So obviously I said in the video that I liked Seth Ferrosi's videos and that he was funny and so on. And I encourage people to go watch his channel. I just didn't agree with the way he was going into ketosis. So what really upset me wasn't the name calling or... I am not looking forward to going to ketosis right now. But thankfully, it's only about 10 days towards the end, so it shouldn't be that bad. Anyway, I don't mind people calling me a moron or idiot. Any, none of that stuff bothers me. I don't mind if people <laughs> say I suck at anything. I don't think if people... I really don't care. What I don't <laughs> like is when people call me a liar, which he's explaining that he didn't really do. And so he didn't mean it to be that way. It's just the way he presented the information. It was presented almost like that I was saying that he wasn't in ketosis, but that he was. But I had watched his video where he said he wasn't in ketosis, and he wasn't in ketosis. But later on, because he did keto for more than that week, he got into ketosis later. Do not have enough blood sugar to process this. So, do you see what I'm saying? So I just didn't like the way he said it. If he had a set, yeah, I wasn't in ketosis that first week, like Greg had said, but eventually I was, so it did work eventually. I wouldn't have made a video. <laughs> it was just because of that moment that I couldn't handle it. I mean, all the cursing and stuff and, you know, insults. 
it just compounded onto it. But at that moment, that's when I said no. Because I don't like it when people kind of make it look like I don't know what I'm saying. Because, you know, I already look like I don't know what I'm saying. Okay? I don't need people to say that I don't look like I know what I'm saying. Because I actually do. But because I don't present it with that monotone voice and the whole background in a certain way, people think that I'm not as smart as me. Okay? So that's the point I was trying to make. Greg had made a video. Also, he doesn't have hair that's long but enough. Tall enough. <clears throat> Same to Black Keto. Probably more sensitive about keto than probably more sensitive about keto than I don't know anything else. Why I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I suck at it so bad and I was mad and just, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Pinched a nerve like that was the thing. Like there's certain things that that they're trying to That's okay? why. For me, it's when people say I'm lying or this I hate. The straw man arguments. I hate <clears throat> them. Oh, straw mans are fucking garbage. Here. Straw man <clears throat> arguments. Okay, look that freaking definition up. Don't straw man. Straw man. Okay, don't be saying I'm saying something that I didn't really say to make it look like I said this to try to make me look like an idiot when I didn't even say it in the first place. Hate that. <laughs> Just so you guys know, he did in fact write me on Instagram and I did respond back and explain some things. And so it's not that big a deal. He wanted me to call. I'm just too busy to call. It's four in the morning and this is the second video that I'm recording. <laughs> I'm a busy guy with a million clients, not literally a million. Let's don't say I said it's a million. I don't coach a million clients, okay? Did, uh, did anybody watch that <laughs> Fuad Abiyah podcast with that, that random some drug guru guy that said that he's coached 50,000 people 50,000 people that was fucking ridiculous oh i think he made a video about that oh the oh oh greg uh, greg didn't make a video about it greg made a youtube comment or instagram comment or something anyway i'm a busy guy i just don't have the time to like call the whole thing and it's like that's one less client that's paying me a lot of money that i can't call it's one less hmm. it's, it's one less phone consult that i can do it's one less hour i can spend with my girlfriend who never gets to see me because i'm working all the time one thing that i can't represent <laughs> with myself about was whenever i personally attacked and called him a low life shit bodybuilder yeah it's too far. I'm over it. It's no big deal. Okay. I don't, I don't, I seem like I feel, or it looks like a whole of these grudges. I get over stuff so fast. It's like in there, in my head, and I'm sad, and blah, and then it, and it's over. And it's like, I don't care. I'm over it. So I'm over it. I don't care. I'm not offended anymore. So if anyone's like worried about what, or what do I, or don't take it to person, I'm over it already. It's been what, a couple days? I'm already over it. I, it doesn't bother me. This whole thing, a bunch of negative shit. The shit that I hate the most, all negative, all the bullshit. I hate it. So good has to come from it, Bob. Okay. Good has to come from because, like I say, from every shitty situation, anything bad that happens in your life. God good. damn, you're so passionate, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna get me the um, second roti. I'm so tired right now. I kind of just feel like having. Fuck. I'm so tired. <clears throat> I'm just so funny. Like I'm. I don't even know. I don't even know. I, don't even know. And I, I agree. I think that if you do something bad and then you can make something good out of it, then that's great. Trust me. I have I some hate it, bad stuff that happened to me in my past, which most of you are aware of. No, maybe some. Are, I don't know. Some of you oh, are aware. You know, shit. my past. Look it up. Woohoo. Google me. Anyway, oh, it doesn't affect deals? me. It's, I've come over it and I'm doing great. And all this stuff that happened in the past. In a way, it helped me in the future. You make something. What bodybuilder isn't you fucking? Down, you build yourself back yeah, up. never mind. Greg, every bodybuilder is in some 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 fucking drug shit, bro. Yeah. That would be great, and I would go if I could just like snap my finger and just go, but I can't go. So I, I can't just go to visit. Okay. So I can't go. I really don't have the time to go. I can afford to go and all that kind of stuff. It would be fun to go. I really don't have the time to go and do that. If he wanted to come here, I could do it. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> you don't know. I live in Canada. He lives in the United States. It's not like I can just drive Canadia. over. It's a lot to do, okay? A whole weekend away, it's... I don't know if you know how many hours I work. A hundred hours. Like, you think I'm making it up. hundred hours a week. If I go and travel, that's like, I don't know, two, three... It's days that I can't work. I can't spend that much time away from work. If, if I have to go and do something, it's going to be with my girlfriend. With, like, she just went away for a week, and I was able to work the whole week without any distractions, and I caught up. <laughs> and now it's like, I got a lot of work to do. So I can't accept and just go and train and do all the stuff because I'm just too busy. I'm not saying I don't want to. I'm not saying that I'm against him or... It's not, it's not him. It's I don't him. even remember what he told me last. He was making, okay. he told me like a, a, at least a month away. He was making like 400, <laughs> okay. 400 bucks an the hour or something. Line There's no way he's making on, yeah. more than so I think that, that right now. This was kind of funny. He said, you know, one stipulation, you gotta come in here and eat some junk food snack. He's like, you kind of made fun of me a little bit for being an undisciplined dieter. It's, it's like, I joke about it, but it's like, he's just a normal human being. I'm just saying what he said. Like, he just said, you know, I like to eat a lot of gummy worms. Yeah, he's super undisciplined, clearly. And I'm like... That's the world. That's why people hire me for coaching. <laughs> created to get you to not need to do that. Although it doesn't work on my girlfriend. She just wants to eat pizza all the time. And she's on this vegan type kick where she's not eating the meats and stuff. Because we have so many animals. All it's done is made her eat more pizza. If you ever do an update, you're going to see the body fat percentage is going up in direct correlation to the decrease in meat being consumed. 
So those of you who are like vegans, vegetarians, I am not against you being vegans and vegetarians. Those of you who eat a lot of meat, I'm not against that either. Do what makes you happy. But I'm telling you, just because you're vegan doesn't mean you're healthy. Yeah. I used to think that. I thought, wow, you're vegan, vegetarian? Well, they probably eat healthy all the time. I had this thing that if you're vegetarian, you're probably healthy. I don't believe it anymore. I see you don't believe in that. Okay? I just don't. I seen it firsthand. I'm like, bro. I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna say half, but like. 75% of India is like vegetarian, vegan, and like garbage vegetarian. <clears throat> and everybody has metabolic syndrome and diabetes and insulin and thyroid issues and everything. If being vegan or vegetarian will help, like Indians will be the healthiest people ever and you're not. Oh my goodness. And am I against keto? I'm not like against it. I'm not I just even don't close. see it as a necessary thing to do. I'm more for healthy eating, okay? If you do keto, you can do it. I just think if you're keto and you added in more vegetables, you'd be healthier. If you're keto and you added in more vegetables, why not add in some fruit? There's good things in fruit, <laughs> but then you're not keto anymore because you're eating too much non-keto items, carbs. You're eating too many carbs. Okay, no. so it's not that I'm against it and I think it's stupid. It's just that I think there's better ways. So it's not like I'm against eating three meals a day. I just think that if you eat four, it's probably a little bit better. <coughs> to me, okay, keto is not sustainable, man. Better. It's not realistic okay, in real so life. I have some clients that eat like if you have real life friends, like, oh, girlfriends, like, someone, like, anybody, anything, this is not real. Food. No, I just try to make small improvements. I try to improve people's diets. Okay. I'm going to make you shitty snacks. You got to. Okay? That's fair. Yeah. And <laughs> Ooh, got a couple fair. drinks. Got to have a drink. <laughs> got to shit shit. We're going to end it. It'll be fun. Be oh, I want to go out and have a drink. Some of you might think I eat I haven't no drank in like forever. I still eat junk food sometimes. I don't not eat it ever. Okay? I I'm never drink. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I eat junk food, but I don't think that being Mr. Perfect is essential. I think that it's bad. You do too much perfection, and then you go on the other side. It's like all these Absolutely. good, but then you go on the other side. Balance, that's me. I have some junk when I exactly. need to. I go to a restaurant, I order a dessert, split a cheesecake with my girlfriend. I can eat this stuff. I'm not against it. I even drink alcohol occasionally. I do. So it's not like I'm against <laughs> drinking either. I just don't think you should abuse it. Don't drink and drive. Don't break the law. You can compliment me about my tall, dark, handsome stature. I can tell me as That's me, bro. What are you talking Morgan about? Freeman and Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> we compliment each other. We can slap each other in the face because we're flamboyant with our hands and talking. And so he's definitely quite funny. Like, if you just watch his channel, you'll see that he's quite funny. I'm over it. I, to me, this just closes it. Maybe someday I won't be so busy and I'll have time to actually go down. Just right now, I'm just, I just can't do it. Okay? I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah. Anyway, that ends this. If you want to call it a feud, it ends it. So that's enough of this. It's the case closed. It ends here. There's no bad blood. Okay? <laughs> Gregusette.com for coaching. Gregusette IP Pro. Instagram. Videos here to watch. Check them out. Non-Seth related. Other videos, okay? okay. Until next time, I'm out. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm almost done with this. With the eggs. Uh, video's already coming up. Uh, video's being uploaded. Another one. One's gonna be coming out tonight, I'm pretty sure. Saturday, I get free. So many videos coming out after that. Posing videos coming out almost every day. <clears throat> one of the videos that's coming up right now is a posing video. So fucking tired. I think my leg volume is going to go down today for sure, for sure. We'll see what happens. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, wherever you are, guys and girls. Again, not exclusive. <laughs> She'll see you guys next time. Peace.